I also wonder a little bit if he might have... The men's race had been billed as the renewal of rivalry between former track stars Eliud Kipchoge and Ethiopian Kenenisa Bekele. This was the fourth marathon for Kipchoge, a two-time Olympic track medalist, and the second for Bekele, a three-time Olympic champion. Kenyans Kipchoge, Sami Kitwara, and Dixon Chumba moved away from the field after 32 kilometers. Well, and really Elliot Kipchoge of, of the three has the most experience. Well, then Kipchoge she literally literally feels, command of the race after literally, 40 I can do kilometers. This forever. Right. He's turning the corner here, and he's coming up to close to, this is about 500 meters to go. Over. This is the, really the only hill. He won the race in two hours, four minutes, and 11 seconds. Two oh four twelve unofficially, the winning time. Sami Kitwara was second, 17 seconds later, with Dixon Chumba third in two hours, four minutes and 32 seconds. It's a big PR for him as well. And Dixon Chumba will take third. In the women's race, Rita Jepto broke free from a pack of four women who had stuck together through much of the race after 37 kilometers. She won in a time of two hours, 24 minutes and 35 seconds. 224-36 unofficially at the line. Jepto is the first back-to-back -back winner of both the Chicago and Boston marathons in the same two-year span since Catherine Dereba in 2000 and 2001. For her efforts in winning the race and the marathon majors, Jepto will take away 600,000 US dollars, approximately 53.4 million shillings. Kipchoge collected $155,000, approximately 13.8 million shillings, for the win and a time bonus. Maureen Wende, Sunday Live. And you know, I think that early slow pace just set things up really well for Kipchoge.